In March of 2020, Kimberly Burchard had just gotten engaged. The future with her now fiance Keith was bright, but suddenly I'm coughing up blood. So he drops me off at the ER, kisses my forehead and says goodbye. And for 68 days, I didn't see him. Kimberly was intubated while doctors raced to figure out what was happening. They knew she had a rare condition called achalasia. It affects the esophagus. The area of muscle at the bottom can't relax and food can pass into the stomach. Patients can develop aspirational pneumonia when food stuck in the esophagus gets inhaled into the lungs. She got to our hospital. Uh, we didn't even know that she was going to survive the transport. Dr. Lawrence Brinkerhoff is chief of thoracic surgery at Tufts Medical Center. With all the aspiration pneumonias, uh, she had developed a, what's called a lung abscess. It's a true cavity in her lung uh, that was all filled with infection. And over time, that cavity eroded into her esophagus. They put Kimberly on ECMO, a machine that took over the work of her heart and lungs so they could repair her lung and esophagus. She spent much of the next six months in the surgical intensive care unit. It's the only patient I know of who has survived three runs of ECMO. Dr. Stanley Nazraway is the director of the surgical ICU. He says they pushed her to get moving after every complication and celebrated her 28th birthday last October. It's important to remind her and also remind the team that she was getting better despite a series of setbacks. Just a few days later, before surgery to remove Kimberly's damaged esophagus, she shared a saying that gave her strength. The devil whispered to you, you can't withstand this storm. And I said back to the devil, I am the storm. The team used a portion of Kimberly's stomach to create a new esophagus and remove the entire lower lobe of her lung. Today, while she's still getting her strength back, her prognosis is good. With the new esophagus, the achalasia is gone. And with Dr. Brinkerhoff's okay, Kimberly got that saying tattooed on her arm and knows nothing can stop her now. And I remember FaceTiming my mom and telling her that I was too tired to do this. And she said, it's okay to be tired. Take a nap and keep going. Just keep going. And I did. And I'm here. And I'm strong. She is a fighter. Kimberly and Keith are planning to get married in September. I can tell you, those doctors, that team, they are on the guest list. Wow, that is incredible. Good for her. She is a great.